I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are, the big one, as everybody knows it. It is Emma Raducanu, the reigning, defending US Open champion. She's up against 23, uh, well, time Grand Slam champion, Serena Williams, the GOAT of all tennis on the women's side in the open era, some might say. And we're joined today by not only John Silk, who is there looking as handsome as ever, but also uh, somebody new, Nicolette. Hello. <laughs> appearance. How are you, Nicolette? Um, would, would you like to tell everybody about your uh, background in tennis? You had your own tennis podcast as well. Sure. Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, I had a little bit of like a podcast YouTube channel a few years ago. And Ben and JG um, 
had found me or something and <laughs> asked if I'd like to come to game 12. So I haven't done it for a few years, but I'm a tennis fan. Um, play tennis. No, very knowledgeable about tennis. The one thing that I well, thought when we had, uh, when we saw Nicolette's channel was, the enthusiasm for tennis and a uh, great knowledge for tennis as well. And I think that that's one thing that some of the tennis world is missing a little bit. And on game to love, we thought that you'd be a great addition. So that's why we're bringing you in uh, the nice, easy one to get us going. I say easy, yes. but it is a bit of a momentous match. Isn't that right? John silk, this one sort of a battle of the ages. Yeah. I mean, we've got, two women at opposite ends of their career, opposite ends of the Grand Slam winning spectrum as well. Uh, reigning, by the way, in terms of, you said uh, the reigning US Open champion, uh, Emma Raducanu, reigning being the operative word uh, right now in mm. Cincinnati because it's just started to come down with rain. Do you like that? Do you like that? There's more uh, to not... come. There's more. <laughs> and I, I didn't like get it. booed off stage tonight, believe it or not. Uh, I did a stand-up oh, nice. a few hours ago in Cologne. And Ooh, uh, in German yeah. or English? No, no. I, 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 my, I've done some in Spanish in the past, but um, Ooh. my German is not quite at the uh, the Spanish level. But anyway, yeah, it's. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm sure we all are. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, this one, it's been hotly anticipated because it's been one of these matches. Um, I know that I sort of said it in the news clip where it's sort of a preview for this one. It's the we haven't seen Serena play any of these young guns, really. I mean, she's sort of been riddled with a few injuries and she's sort of been hit in the latter stages of her career, picking and choosing her events that she wants to play, really. I mean, we're seeing the same on the men's side with, with Rafa, Novak, Roger, all of those. That, that's what happens at that stage of your career. But now we're going to get to see when it was the match. Well, if it wasn't going to be Coco Goff, I think it's the next best thing uh, is Emma Raducanu versus uh, Serena Williams. And I think it's a really good one as well, because even though Emma Raducanu is the US Open champion, she hasn't really been showing US Open championship form. And that would, if she was, I wouldn't really like this as a matchup for Serena. But the fact that Raducanu has been not really at the races uh, in the past few weeks, I think it makes it a really interesting matchup. And Serena's had a win against Palizas Diaz recently. So she's proved that she can still win on the tour as well, which is great. So anyway, what do you think, uh, Nicolette? What, what do you make of this matchup? Which sort of way are you sh uh, like shine towards? Are you shine towards the youth or the experience? You know, I'm not, I'm a little nervous at this point because <laughs> now... I was so I went through a period where Serena was just winning, winning, winning. And it was almost like I said the words, I'm bored because Serena just wins everything. So mm. I like, did I jinx her? Because after that, <laughs> she kind of fell off a little bit, injuries and all that. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I think that going forward with Serena, like I'm American, she's I've grown up watching her like win everything. I just want her at this stage to just keep winning until she retires. And I don't know if, yeah, Emma at this point, well, we've been talking to Serena how she, I've been talking a little bit about how, who she like lost to and how she's been playing sometimes um, where she's lost and you just expect her to win or just, you know, she's great one set and then kind of falters. So, um, I hope, I think with the way Emma's playing, she's a great player, but again, um, working her way with more experience, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping for a Serena win, but mm, like you might. Um, <laughs> someone just said, can I do a comment? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, shout out to the people. I agree, in... DJJ606, it will either be a closely cooperative game or Serena will destroy. 
Well, and I don't they, know if I tell you. Yeah, that's Davor, one of our regulars in <laughs> oh, the live well. chat. So thanks to Davor for that Thank one. You. Uh yeah, it, it could well be like that. And I want to say a quick shout out to the other people who have joined. We've got Joseph in as well. We've got MQR in. If you are just joining us, remember to whack a like on the video, subscribe to Game to Love if you're new, and let everybody know we're already live and we're gonna be here until this match finishes same question goes to you john um with this sort of matchup which way are you sort of like going towards in this um i have felt throughout since the draw was made that raducanu was the more likely to win um i i mean a- any result could occur okay and, and and they usually do and and i usually get them wrong by the way and i'm sure you'll clip this and <laughs> And remind me in a couple of hours should uh, Serena um, ease through. But the reason, here's my logic behind tipping Raducanu. It, it, it's just, if I said to you in four weeks from now, uh, one of these two women is winning the US Open. Even if I said to you in one, in one week from now or six days from now, one of these two women is winning Cincinnati. I just think the least surprising of those two would be Raducanu. I'm not saying that Raducanu is going to do it. And I really, I don't think she will. I think her form, I mean, you said the last few weeks, Ben, I, I can't remember really her having a good run since she no. won the U S open. And, and I think there's all sorts of reasons behind that. I'm, I, I think there was no thought through plan. If you don't mind me going off a tangent a bit here, Ben, and indulge me. It. There was, no. I think regarding Raducanu and the coaching situation, I, yep. When she fired her coach after the U.S. Open, um, uh, let him go, whatever terminology you want to use, I thought, oh, wow, that's, a, that's a, a move, if you like. I'm not saying it's the wrong move. I wasn't saying it was the wrong move at the time. I mean, I got some of the logic behind it that he wasn't a guy that was particularly experienced at the top level. He was just a guy who was filling in for a few weeks, if you like. But he did fill in while she won the U.S. Open. <laughs> well, uh, that's not, yeah. you know, if you do that as an intern, I think you probably get the job full time, mm-hmm. right? So, um, but if she's got a plan, fine, but there has been no plan. It's been almost 12 months now and whatever the plan was, you know, plan B, plan C, plan D haven't worked. So that, that's been probably my main concern. I I also have other concerns about Raducanu and the amount of time spent away from the court. I mean, if you go on her Twitter page, um, you know, every every pretty much every post is for an airline or for a car or for a communications company, and I'm not yeah. going to give any of them the the time of day uh, on this because uh, we've got millions of people tuning in right now, so I don't want to boost this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my logic, okay. And, and by the way, I'm don't I'm not down on Raducanu either. I mean, she could easily have a good run in Cincinnati and. Who knows? Go deep at the U.S. Open, and and she's got many, many more years ahead. But I do remember in in, in other sports, particularly in football, where coaches have become concerned about youngsters and the amount of commitments they have away from the court, and in fact, how it can drain years off their career. And coming back to tennis, uh, I know Boris Becker is somebody uh, who's highlighted that his he he did too many too much early on, made too many commitments, signed too many contracts. Blah 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 blah, and 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 he regrets that in in a big way, and and I think I would like to see Raducanu focus a bit more on the tennis. Coco Goff is someone, unfortunately. Can I just just have a quick few seconds on yeah, her? Yeah, definitely. She's she pulled out injured today so. and is now a doubt for the U.S. Open. But somebody like Coco Goff is very tennis oriented. When she tweets, she tweets about she makes jokes about double faults or or or, or in fact she she'll also tweet about some serious issues, but she's yeah. not quite going down the, the same route as Raducanu and I'd like to see Raducanu just focus a bit more on the tennis. Well she was a very big uh person even when it came to the uh like the Black Lives Matter like thing, wasn't she? I mean she was out there on the street giving yeah. like a speech and stuff like yeah. that. So she's I feel like she's like really grown even because she, maybe she's 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 been around what two, three years now it seems and I feel that she's like an uh, more more like an older head on the tour than Raducanu. <laughs> it seems crazy to say, but yeah. we've, she's been around media much longer, and I feel that she's got her head on her shoulders, maybe a bit more. I don't want to say Raducanu doesn't because she handles the media really well, but 
she's not getting wrapped up in all of the uh well she, maybe she's not getting all the offers as well but still i feel that she would probably be maybe slightly more on the side of tennis than it would be the endorsement side of things but i'm not i'm not going to knock raducani because make your money while you can i always say and i, I think that if that was the only Grand Slam she was to ever win in her career. She'd be a fool not to take everything that came with it. Because if she looked back in 20 years' time and there was nothing else, and she was like, well, I turned down all of these eight endorsements that could have earned me 20, 30, 40 million, and I didn't win any more tournaments. <laughs> so what, you got to, you got to weigh it up, really, haven't you? So yeah, uh, I yeah. don't think that's going to happen. I think she still will will win more tournaments. But I think is it JG who said she's never going to win a slam again? Uh, well, she, well, he said she's not going to win a tournament for at least three years. But he's thinking he extended it to more years. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the last, he uh, also the said last. Medvedev is going to win more than ten majors as well. So he does come out with some bizarre <laughs> long term predictions. Right. I'm anyway, saying this because he's not here. Let's go to the live chat just quickly. We've got Kathy in, one of our regular saying, I've not oh, met hello. Nicolette. Hello, it Nicolette. It is my first stream, so you have not met me yet. Hello. Then we've got Jared in saying, uh, who uses more hair products than the <laughs> hair? Is it Nicolette, <laughs> Silk, or Ben? Well, I think you'd probably be shocked tonight. It's probably JG. Uh, he's oh, not here yeah. at the moment, but oh, when he does <laughs> arrive, you'll wait to see that hair will be looking immaculate. That's for sure. Have that head and shoulders. Only allowed to wash it once every month or something, apparently, he tells me. But anyway, let's get, let's get back to business. Let's get to some of the tweets because I've got a few here. I tried to make it look a little bit nicer. There you go. Looks a mm. little bit like cleaner now, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay. So this one I thought was quite a nice graphic tonight. And we've got, obviously, the American Serena versus the British Radu Kanu, and I'll keep on clinging on to that. Uh, <laughs> we've got Serena there, and then Radu Kanu down here. Don't know where we're going to position it, really. We'll keep it with Serena for now. And let's move on to some of these other ones. And there's some, well, everybody's tweeting about all of these interesting statistics around Serena. I mean, there's so many. I was saying to Nicolette before we even became live, you can literally go anywhere with Serena. If you wanted to talk about anything, motherhood, you wanted to talk about what inspirational things she done in her life, it's endless. So it's saying she's won 23 Grand Slams, four Olympic medals, 319 weeks as the number one women's player in the world. These accomplishments have made her an iconic athlete, but her influence uh, on black women and girls is incalculable. And that is another thing as well. I know we were saying about Coco Goff, and she probably looks up to Serena more than anyone. What do you make of all of these achievements and the sort of the inspiration? I mean, I'm sort of talking about her like she's already gone, but I feel that we're – I said this to JG earlier. We could this, – this could be a second-to-last match, really, potentially. Totally. We don't know. Yeah, so we don't know. If she doesn't win any more matches – we could only see her two more times. So let's just l love it while we've got it. So, but yeah, what, what do you make of the, all of her achievements and what do you reckon is the, what's, what's the thing that she's done most in her career that like is the most inspirational? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy to wrap your head around just like 23 grand, grand slams. But when you think about how many finals that she's been in where she hasn't won, like just getting to that point, how many, yeah. probably more than, 10, at 10, least 30, 10 yeah, slam than, finals she hasn't won yeah right so like that number could easily have gone you know 10 more but um amazing and it's just gonna be weird because i've grown up we've all grown up i feel like she's just always there always everywhere and when she retires just you're not gonna see her on the screen and you're not gonna see her playing tennis that's just really weird to wrap your head around but she is i think she will remain the greatest of all time i mean women's there i feel like there is no debate there she just is yeah yeah i think in in, in the modern era but i think possibly any era i mean just totally. just knowing how tennis was pre-open era in terms of players not traveling much and those mm -hmm. that did travel sort of cleaned up if you like and had that opportunity and and we, and we see, see that on both the men's and the women's side um i think something 
uh, clicked for me when I read the article that she penned last week. Um, and it was it was something about the fact that she felt she couldn't really talk about retirement. She said she said she barely mentioned it to her husband in all wow. this time. Um, and that was her exact words. And I think it was just, you know, and, 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 and Ben and I have been in fortunate enough to be in press conferences when she's talking and and um, uh, and, and, and you just sense that she just didn't want to didn't want to confront it. Now, I, I couldn't quite put my finger on it at the time. I thought she was just being a bit aloof, if I'm honest. But now looking back, it's just that for all these years and so many times she would have been asked those questions and, and, and it was intensifying with every every year that passed, if you like. Um, now it makes sense that her aloofness around the topic was just that she she didn't really talk about it. I mean, at Wimbledon this year, she was asked about whether she'd be back and she's always like, you don't know, I don't know. And she just and I thought, why doesn't she just nip this in the bud and, and say, yeah, it, it could be my last year or, or whatever. I mean, even then, you're not quite nipping at the bud, but you're certainly going in there. But she just didn't even want to address it. I think that's due to injury. And more like, if she does she still feel like, oh, that injury was pretty serious at Wimbledon last year. If I was just, if it just comes back and I just start to feel a bit better, maybe, like maybe there's a chance I could just do it a bit longer. Like, is she like sort of living in in hope a bit that she doesn't want to say it just in case she says it and then her body suddenly feels better? I think, I mean, I, I think she, she didn't really want to commit either way. That's for sure. And she still hasn't committed, by the way. That was the, the most non committal retirement announcement I think I've ever read. In that there's there's I, I kept going through it looking for the date. I was just scrolling. Well, well, when is the date? When and there isn't any date. We've <laughs> no. just we've just sort of read between the lines, and it doesn't take a lot of working out that the most likely scenario is that she walks out at Flushing Meadow in a couple of weeks for the last time, or certainly for her last tournament. Um, I, I think the, the the difference though between now and the previous year, if you like, before Wimbledon was that. Um, when when she went out at Wimbledon, she was quite upbeat after that first round defeat. And Tumaini Cariol asked her a really good question, probably the best question in the press conference. And he just asked her um, whether, whether you know, because everyone asked her about the retirement and blah, 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 and about the match. And he said, do you now want to get going on the practice courts? Does this make you feel, this, this, this experience at Wimbledon this year in the last few weeks, does it make you want to have a few weeks off or do you want to get out on the practice court and just can't wait to get going for the North American swing? And she said, I can't wait to get going and I really want to give it a go, if you like. Um, and, and then you thought, okay, that's good. That's good news, at least in terms of this year, because after Wimbledon, we still didn't know if we were going to see her again on the tennis court or, or, or how it would pan out. But I'm, I'm pleased we are seeing her. I do suspect that this is her last year and therefore her last major and stuff like that. And she's got other things to pursue, as she mentioned in the article. Yeah, most definitely. I'll move on to uh, one, some of the other tweets as well. This one, I, I, don't want, I, I spotted this one the other day and I still think it's an amazing statistic. Because despite all of her singles uh, trophies that she has, and she's incredible on, in singles, probably one of the best doubles records you're ever going to see for women's 14 and 0 in finals, and uh, all of them with her sister as well. I mean, that's just it's one of the things I was looking through just before we were we were coming on air as well, and just looking at all of the finals that they just played against each other as well. I just think they dominated the sport so, so much around that. I think it was, was it four finals in a row that she beat Venus in? To, and it was literally all of four slams, yeah, one after the next. And it, was, it wasn't quite the calendar slam, but it was Australia just on the back end of all mm -hmm, of them. Mm -hmm, the Serena slam, into, yeah. Yeah, the 2002, 2003 just incredible really um the, the, i thought venus when she came on the scene was incredible uh and I, t when we saw like serena i just thought oh is she just going to be like the younger sister that's sort of in the shadow of her older sister the whole time but, but no um, the legacy <laughs> as well is a, is a really good point that we've touched on and 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 one or two people are mentioning in the live chat margaret court's legacy as well yeah, yeah. so so i, I think that her. Uh, no, but the leg. I'm also thinking the legacy that Serena has left will be far better, more positive, and more memorable than than sadly some of Margaret Court's um, 
uh, let's say, out of date views on certain things. And and, and I certainly yeah. think that that she's quite fortunate to have a court named after her in Melbourne. And and that's another thing that that Serena can be can be very proud of is the influence on on as, as was mentioned in that tweet before on on women and, and black women especially. Nicolette, do you think? Yeah. I'll put, pose this question to you. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a formality, really. Do you think that there will be a stadium named after Serena Williams? And if so, how I long just, until we get one? That just <laughs> entered my mind. And I actually don't think that it, I feel like it would be US Open, right? Yeah, got to be. I feel like they have room, definitely, to add her. Um, and I feel like it wouldn't be long after she retires. Right. I feel like it's got to be like the Alex Ferguson stand, doesn't it? As soon as she retires, you've got, <laughs> got to name a stand after her. It, not a stand, a stadium. Who do you yeah. kick off though in uh, in New York? Well, that's the thing. You got Arthur Ashe is the main Louis one, Armstrong, isn't it? Is that, that's the other yeah. big one. Yeah, but Louis Armstrong was a, he played the trumpet, yeah. didn't he? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 nice. It's nice. Billie Jean. I said the, the, the three sort of names oh, attached to it. Yes. Billie Jean King is the name of the center, the tennis center. Yes. Was, I guess the around USTA, it. Yes. Uh, right. Thank you. Yeah. And then you've got the Arthur Ashe Stadium. You know, fair enough. And then somehow Louis Armstrong's get, got in on the act. I don't know if he ever even picked up a racket. He certainly picked up a trumpet, and and good for him. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's a, that's an unusual one. That's almost like, did you know, I re recently realized that Roland Garros is like a French pilot. It's a French what, sorry? He, he's a, it was a pilot, oh. like aviator. Oh. That is, oh, okay. that's the name. And I was like, oh, it's not a tenant. So, okay. So that is interesting how that snuck in there. So I guess Louis Armstrong <laughs> is kind of in the same. I'm like, oh, okay. So I do think they, they need to make room for her, something. Maybe if they I do could... an addition or... Sure. Anything. Congratulations on finding a synonym so quickly for pilot. Because I sort of said, what? And you went, you know, pilot. And I went, what? Oh, and you went, oh an aviator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got it. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah I don't like, think that would have yeah. been my, I would have probably gone with like bird or something. <laughs> 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 that would have been my next thing or something. I don't know. Maybe if there's no room, well. I'm, I'm throwing no, it out there. If if there's no room at the US, Serena, mm -hmm. don't worry. We'll name one of the big courts at Wimbledon after you. There you go. I'll throw that one out there. We don't want them center and center and number one. Bit boring, isn't it, over in Wimbledon? I know. Come on. Court Let's have one some names. Like... Yeah. Come on. The Tim Hemman. He's got a hill. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Andy Murray, does he get I don't know if you get one for just three slams though or two Wimbledons. I don't think that's quite enough, do you? Anyway, I'm gonna move on quickly. Oh. This one, talking about more money here. This one, uh, the highest paid female athlete of all time. I uh, made a record $94.6 million in prize purses over her career, 35.5 million last year. Uh, 52nd among all athletes and only 12 athletes in the world have made more from endorsements last year. And that's incredibly inspirational, uh, I think, from somebody who's sort of not only carried women's tennis, but she sort of carried women's sport uh, on her own shoulders and doing it as a black lady as well even more inspired i feel like there's, there's no end to the inspiration for from serena williams uh i i just don't know where to go with it. this statistic is so incredible what what do you make of this do you think anyone will ever surpass this type of feat or do you think that uh like somebody like in this Obviously, money increases as you go yeah, through time, yeah. so it's difficult to keep a gauge on it. It's like the football transfers. Do you think anybody will ever like destroy these sort of numbers? Because I think the prize money one is going to be the toughest one, though, if I'm perfectly honest. No. Either. <laughs> but Either honestly, <laughs> Sorry. if it does increase, I just don't see the same thing with men's. Like in and even the guys that are like in the top ten now, or I guess, or like Medvedev or team or like who I thought, oh, they're you know growing up there. They're like in their mid twenties now, mm -hmm. and so yeah. I don't think that they could ever reach the top three like in terms of tournaments and Grand Slams because they all won when they were so much younger. Same with Serena. Like it's just been since she was young, just constant. 
So okay. what age, let me put it to, yeah. to both of you, what age do you feel is the youngest age you have to have won your first slam at for you to become one of the greatest of all time? Do you want to have a go, Colette, first? Nicolette? Maybe 20 at the, at the latest. I'm I just mean, thinking in terms of, like, the goats. Like, and then... Is Federer's one, though? Was it 23? I thought it was, like, 18 or 19. Like, was it? Mm, or probably maybe somewhere in between. Maybe 22. 22. Yeah, maybe I think 22. it was quite young. I thought it was 23 for some reason, but... Wimbledon, two, was it Wimbledon 2003? Uh, maybe that's why I'm thinking 23, because it was 2003. I reckon it was about 22. That would be my guess. All right. Um... But uh, oh, I think it was born in 81. So. Never mind, it's nice to then. Change there we go. 12 Travel was always quickest oh, off the mic, saying you. Roger was 21. There you go. There you go. Thanks cool. for that, 12 Travel. Bear in mind there's a 15-second delay, and he still manages to get there before <laughs> all of us. Before my fingers <laughs> and Google so come mad, together. I, I've got a little bit of breaking news. It's not, It's not. don't get too excited. It's not going to be mm -hmm. like, you know, Serena's pulling out or, or anything like that. That's no, it's exciting. just that it stopped raining. It stopped raining. Oh, so Brilliant. Um, I'm just watching uh, Sonego and Baez, I think it is, or Sonego and, sorry, Sonego and Shelton. Shelton well, he's done well, up. Shelton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like he's on the verge of a tie break here. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that's that. So that means the Serena match shouldn't be too far away, although I don't know if that's having to be put back a bit because of the rain. Maybe. But, um, yeah, but of course, no roof at, uh, at Cincinnati, um, unlike the US Open. Right, so... I gauge from both of you, it's probably going to be around 2021 20, anyway. Yes, yeah, sorry, I, I got that's all right. There. Yeah, that's yeah. All you right. got to be, you got to, you got to get off them. I mean, if you're looking at a major per year as an average, if you like, or major and, and, and every now and again two per year as an average, then you got to get off the mark. Yeah, by 2021. Yeah, I, I think so as well. It's it, especially these days, it seems to be becoming just harder and harder just to break away from the pack, so to speak. And if you do it at a young age, that's why I feel like if Alcaraz just grabs a slam really Ooh. early on, I think it just does his confidence a world of good. And then he might become like one of those untouchables. So I agree. Well, this one's quite interesting. John, I think we can uh, look back at this, probably remember it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. 20 years ago. I don't think Nicolette's uh, on the same uh, page, but I'm not sure. She might have been slightly younger. Um, um, uh, so WTA this week, 20 years ago. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sellers, were still Sellers were still playing. Kleisters, okay. Yeah, so there you go. So this is the yeah the top. Well, not I'm not sure. I mean, this is the by the stuff. way, this is this is ten of the greatest women to ever pick up a racket. Amazing. What I mean, they're I all shocked. slam. They're all major winners. I think. I think Davenport won Wimbledon once. I'm not sure. She's definitely a major winner, Davenport. It's not double yeah. time as well. Um, incredible list of talent. Look, four Americans at the top as well. I mean, yeah. and two two Belgians. <laughs> just uh, see it back to back. Uh, someone who doesn't really get much, uh, Yelena Dokic as well. A really, really good player. I'm not um, even familiar with her at all. She was on I'm court really... earlier this year, funny enough. she was. Um, I think she's been working at the Australian Open and she was doing some interviews with players afterwards. She had a really rough, I th if it's the same person, I'm pretty sure she had a really rough relationship with her father and coaching issues, unfortunately. You know, one of these unfortunate um, relationships. But mm -hmm. she's been working a lot on on, um, on the Australian Open and maybe some TV over there. But um, I, I'm going off a bit because Davenport, yeah, you're right. She won three majors. And, and not only that, she won three different majors, Australian Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. But this really is a, a, a who's who of, right. I mean, we all know about Serena and Venus, but we're talking about Sellers is probably in the top 10 players of all time and possibly even higher and maybe would have been even higher because she obviously had an enforced two-year break uh, after she got stabbed, unfortunately, by a, jo um, a Steffi Graf nut job. Um, yeah. Kleisters has won majors. Hingis, 
you know, was probably one of those players that had too much too young. In, in I don't mean it in, in a too bad a way, but she just won. She won most of her slams early on in her career and couldn't quite keep it going. And that that was the case for a lot of women. I mean, Capriati, obviously, we all know about some of the troubles she had away from the court. But both of those players, for very different reasons, their peak was in their early 20s. And we used to see this a lot, didn't we, with, with men and especially women's tennis, where they would peak at 23. And by the time they were 25, 26, it's why we yeah. thought, 10 majors was nuts. We thought 12 <laughs> yeah. was incredible. Sampras, I think, got to 13 or 14. 14, yeah. And and when Federer surpassed that on the men's side, we thought, well, that's that done. Um, and so see, seeing Serena now on 23 and some of the guys on 22 and 20, it's just like, wow. Because we just didn't really see a player. We saw a player, occasionally you might see an Agassi get to sort of 30, 35 perhaps, or be really a sort of, you know, not being a major threat in the last couple of years of his career. So, you know, having Serena playing at 40 and, you know, and at her going into the first or the, the second round or the first round, is it, um, at Cincinnati, second, uh, first round at Cincinnati, and her playing the US Open champion and being, we're not sure who's going to win, tells you a lot. Yeah, exactly. We've got 12 travel just confirming there. Yep. Teenage prodigies. Hingis yeah. and Sellers were teenage prodigies. They most definitely were. Is is Hingis still the youngest ever Wimbledon champion? Uh, I she think may well six, be. I mean, was, I, it six, I, six, I, was it Conchita Martinez? I can't remember. It was one of the two. No, I know they're both six. I think they're yeah. both sixteen though when they. And won Hingis it. won a doubles title. I think at fifteen, if I'm right. Oh, um, she won a wow. doubles title the year before. Yeah. Um, just, just crazy. Just yeah. I was looking through some of these uh, matches and going back through some of the old slams just to see. I think it might have even been back in 99 when Serena won her first US Open and Justine Anan was playing in the first round, Amelie Moresmo. And <laughs> yeah. then Moresmo battered her like double breadstick. I was oh, like, God. really? That so uh, just goes to show how much Anan grew after that. And she, well, she was multiple time French Open champion, wasn't she? But clay was more her thing. It wasn't Ben really Shelton hard. has just won. Oh, oh wow. wow. Well yeah. done. How old is Rock. he, by the way? Because he uh, it, 19. throughout the match 19, but throughout yeah. the match, you know, he, he, he looks like an athlete. But just at the end there, seeing his sort of happy little smile, I was thinking, oh, um, <laughs> he's uh, he's much younger than I realized. But uh yeah, so he's just won in seven five in the third. That's a big win for him. And he's in the band. Go there on. you go. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. Yes. Yeah, that's really, really good. Anyway, well, on to the next one. I'm, I don't know when the match is going to start, so we just got to keep like a close eye mm -hmm. on that, just just in case. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's still scheduled for for midnight, but it says rain delay. Uh, I'm still mad. I just saw Serena's ranking <laughs> 612 yeah uh, she's still uh she's creeping up I think she was 800 and something in the last tournament so she's moved up a bit right now we're over to Emma Raducanu we've spoken a lot about Serena Williams Emma Raducanu in an interview saying if I lose 2,000 points talking about the US Open obviously uh uh I'll start again from the bottom I know I can do something that no one else has done. I qualified and won the US Open. So I can start from the beginning. I can start from zero. And I'm not afraid of that. Do you think it's a good statement? Or do you think she's just saying what the media want to hear? Nicolette, go to you. First. I don't know. Like, my question with her is she's obviously everyone always asks her. The pressure, the pressure is that why, you know, you won, you don't want to be a one hit wonder, like, et cetera. Obviously, um, she, obviously she's not going to say, yes, the pressure is getting to me. She's not, but there cannot be no pressure on her. I mean, or she's just the chillest person ever. Like, does she, maybe she really is just taking it day by day, but I have to think that she really is feeling an immense pressure and is trying to, I mean, I'd probably be saying that to just convince myself as well. Like, I can do it. Obviously, we know that she has the ability and the talent to do it. So she just keeps, you know, I think that she's just trying to keep a positive attitude. But do I really believe her when she's like, there's no pressure at all. I'm not worried at all. So be it. 2,000 points. I would be a little scared. Oh, she's going to she's gonna drop down the rankings, you got to realize. Right. Or probably down to, I think it's into the mid 40s or something like that, or around 40 in the world. So 
I do you think everybody's going to get off her back once she's around 40 in the world? Uh, no one's going to be expecting her to win tournaments like they were this year, the first year after the US Open win. John? Um, I fear not, uh, particularly regarding the British media and, and the way they behave, um, yeah. particularly regarding teenage prodigies. So, no, I think they'll still be on her back and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I, th I actually don't mind this. I, I, I think that she's just... She's preparing herself for that possibility. I don't think she's necessarily accepting it. I don't think that means she's going to take to the court and go, oh, I don't care if I don't lose uh, or if I lose. I, I, I'm I'm fine with it. Um, I, I don't mind it. She's like, if I lose 2,000 points, that's how it is. And I've got to go back to 40 in the world and I've got to climb back up again. I, I, I have no, I mean, we hear Rafa Nadal say things like this and it's like, oh, wow. You know, he's so that's humble, true, that's true. you know, and he's amazing. And, and, uh, and, 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 and you, 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 you know, he, sometimes he wins, sometimes he loses, you know, before Rafa Nadal is playing the world number 400 tomorrow and he's bigging up the world number 400 in his press conference going, well, you know, he's, <laughs> he always he's, does. He's, he's, he's eight, he may be number 400, but he's 253rd in, in the race. And, uh, and, and he's sort of, you know, really bigging him up. And I think it's, it's fine. Um, you know, if, if Raducanu never wins a major again, she'll still be in the top 1% of female tennis players who've ever lived. If she wins yeah. two majors, so a second major, she'll elevate herself probably to the top half percent of women have ever picked up a tennis racket. So yeah. wherever she goes from here, it's it's all positive. Of course, if you're a fan of hers, and I'm sure she's desperate to win more, and I think she will, but just be patient. Yes, indeed. Uh, they're, they are on court warming up, which is great to, to see at the moment. Um, this one from the tennis talker saying if Raducanu can defeat Serena Williams, then she will be back as the world's highest ranked teenager next Monday. Well, that's good. Um, and, and also, I guess she must be about nine or ten in the world. So being nine or 10 in the world means she's just off being number eight in the world, if I've got my maths right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, not bad, hey? Um, <laughs> and also I would have thought that that being eight would be, you know, it's, it's always that precipice. You want to be in the top two, if you like, in terms of your ranking. Three or four doesn't really matter that much. Five, six, seven, eight, and so on. But um, so therefore, if she could get to somehow... Uh, I don't know whether that might elevate to number eight or she just went far in this tournament, given that uh, she didn't win Cincinnati last year. Uh, I would imagine that that might well give her a great chance of going into the top eight in the world. And that's not bad for someone who's had a bad year. No, I mean, the the winner would play as a ranker, though. And I feel oh, it's that tough. It's tough. It's yeah, a, I know. It's one of the worst draws ever. I mean, as a ranker was a, a finalist here. Was it two years ago? So... And we know what Azarenka, she was US Open finalist in that same year against Osaka as well. It's just a nightmare draw. I mean, I've, I think I've got Azarenka going quite far in my bracket as well. So, yeah, uh, mate, if, you, if you've got a nip off, I don't want to uh, keep you too much. I appreciate John for joining us on this one. Um, any last words? Give us your prediction. That's all we want to know. John Silk, Mystic Powers, all the way from <laughs> Bonn in Germany. Go on. Uh, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I'll go uh, Raducanu in two very, very tight sets. Oh, I like it. Go on there, repping the GB. Lovely <laughs> stuff. Uh, and Nicolette, from yourself? I'm going to say Serena... Serena in two. Ooh. Wow, in two. So we got straight sets across the board. Yes. Um, you're going to have to hang on for a little bit longer to find out my prediction. They are just practicing their serves at the moment. We'll let John Silk go. If you haven't hit a like for John Silk on the video yet, make sure you do so. And make sure you check out John Silk's new YouTube channel, Talking Tennis. Um well, I'll pop a link in the description if people are watching on uh, repeat or anything like that. So you can find John's new channel. He's interviewing everybody under the sun in the tennis world. But yeah, it all looks like good fun, mate. All right. Yeah. Thanks very much for the shout out. And, and good luck to you both this evening. And good luck to both players. Indeed. Totally. See you later, mate. See you. Bye bye. Right. Okay. I think I'm going to have to get off the tweets because I think the match is just about to start. Right. Oh, just geez. bear with me two ticks. 
Da, 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 da. I think JG will be joining us for the actual match. What a treat for everybody. Um, apologies if I haven't gone to the live chat as much as uh, I would have liked, but with three of us here and wanting everybody to have a, uh, their own little bit of chat in this one. I didn't want to, I don't know, some people were saying, you're not letting Nicolette say anything, but oh I my think God. we wanted to just I'm ease you in just <laughs> gently yeah. onto this I'm first like, no, one. I, yeah. <laughs> So it's yes. fine. It's fine. I mean, Nicolette will be covering a lot more matches coming up, but this yes. one we thought would just be a real nice starter. It's just talking tennis and you do it so well. Totally. So we thought, um, I know that you've probably got to nip off to do a lot of other stuff as well. You've got like a, a busy life out away <laughs> from tennis. It's still, yes, it is still late here. I didn't realize how late it was for you guys, but yes, yes thank you so much. It was lovely to join, and you will see me again. Will do to indeed. To be determined, though. <laughs> yes, exactly but right. Enjoy JG and then. <laughs> That's the it, JG. Duo. JG joining soon. Cheers, Nicolette. All right, see thank you. you. See you again Bye. soon. Bye-bye. Right, JG will be with us in a second. I will be getting the score up, but let me get your predictions in the live chat now. Right, it's my time for my prediction. And guess what I'm going to predict? Well, you've seen my draw preview. I'm actually going Serena in three is my prediction. Maybe a little bit controversial, but that's why I'm here. This is what GTO is all about. And as you can see, we just kicked off. Serena is serving first. And it is the first point of the match to Emma Raducanu. Good return on the forehand. And Serena's hooked her backhand wide there. It's going to be all important, I feel. I feel the movement is going to be one of the key things in this matchup as well. Getting moving around the court. It, that's what Raducanu needs to do to Serena Williams. Can Serena Williams impose her will? Fire the power past Raducanu. We're going to find out. Or will this be... Just, uh, well, a sad, sad time where we watch what used to be the greatest player on tour getting picked apart. And it's a double fault there. Oh, no. And it is Love 40. Radu Kanu looking to take this to love on the Serena Sir. The crowd trying to get behind her. Should be noted, this match was delayed. From the day before, it was pushed back. And this was due to Serena, uh, I believe, not being ready for the match as well, which is not a good sign, really. It's into the net there, and it is a game to love and a break. Here's the man, JG. Here he How we is. doing? How we Ooh. doing, everyone? How Let me know right? if I have a few internet problems. I was just trying to get set up. I uh, enjoyed right. the little preview we had with Nicolette, yourself, and John. Uh, it's a match I'm really looking forward to. I mean, I'm surprised Radu Khan has started so strong, but I don't think she has. It feel, I feel like it has Serena been errors. just a case of Serena errors to kick things off. And I'm just getting my stream up now. Was that a double fault early from Serena yeah, as well? I mean, she's hit it wide in the net and a double fault so far in the first. She comes to the net. Oh, it's a volley wide this time. So unforced mm -hmm. errors are the only thing that is coming off the Serena racket so far. But we're early in the match. You've got to remember, she's still very, very, I don't know, fresh back on the tour. Yeah, I mean... It's a difficult one to call. I mean, in the draw preview, I went with Serena Williams to come through and win this one. I think you went with the same. Yeah. I thought Radu Khan was going to get overawed by the occasion. Um, but the more I was listening to you guys speaking, some of the tweets I was looking at earlier and the way I've sort of been formulating this one in my mind, I feel now more so that Radu Khan is going to win. So I'm going to do a bit of a change of heart 
tactic. It's good that you've got Serena as well. And I'm going to be back in the Brit, Emma Raducanu, to win this one in straight sets as well. And I mean, the way this one started with all of these unforced errors from Serena, that prediction is looking quite good. Yeah, we've got Jared in saying JG was busy re-watching the Booster Canada Open <laughs> trophy. Yeah, <laughs> not doing that. That's it. Really well, not. He was having a bit of a battle earlier on. Did he get through in the end? Booster against Ketsmanovic. I think he did, no, he yeah. Did. No, he lost. Oh, did he? Oh, in the tie break. In the I've got a message set. come through on my phone because I've got a notification to the ATP and I, I thought it read Booster come through in a tie break, but... No, he lost the tie break. Like he lost wow. the tie break. Wow. After winning the first set 6-1, that must, must have been his last bit of energy. So, yeah. Ketsmanovic... We've got Carlos Alcaraz playing right now. He's up a break. Ooh. But let's focus on this one because... Big. These early yeah. stages, I think, are going to be very decisive. And Radu Kanu's hitting big wow. forehands. She's moving Serena around. She goes in behind Emma Radu Kanu. 30 really good She's hands. playing well. I mean, Emma must be looking at Serena as like well, it's just the, the epitome of tennis. Like everything. Like whenever you speak to someone who doesn't watch tennis, they, they say Roger Federer. Um, I was going to say Radu Kana. They don't say that. But they do, <laughs> to be fair, they do <laughs> now. They do now. But historically, Serena Williams, Roger Federer, two biggest names in tennis. Radu Kana is doing a good job of becoming one. Um, not so much for what she's done on the court so far, but she has won a Grand Slam, so we can't dismiss her too this much. One in one, one hundred percent in Grand Slam mate, finals. You just look at you just look at this match up, and you think. Is Radu Kalu going to get nervous? Like, I really did think that. I really did, but There's I'm part not of me, sure it's, now. It's down to Serena, really. I mean, at the moment, all we've seen is just a catalogue of errors from Serena in this match. And if she continues like that, Emma's not even got to do anything. She hasn't really... She's hit one winner, I think. There's been about seven unforced errors in two games from Serena Williams. She needs to settle down. I feel that she's got to have some sort of nerves on her side as well because people expect a lot from her and she's probably feeling like, oh, I just wish I could just give people what they wanted. Yeah, and just like that, it is the game for Radu Khan she consolidates the break and leads here to love. <laughs> We've got Gary in saying, JG here to keep Ben awake. Kidding, Ben, sort of. Is Ben well, being boring again? Probably. No, it just means that he's seen me fall asleep on a stream at 3 a.m. before, probably. That's why. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm here for the long haul anyway. Uh, really looking forward to this one. Doesn't matter how late it Happy goes. I'm going to be here finishing classic. it off. Nice four-hour classic. That's what we want. That is that's what, what we want. Oh, that's a great backhand from Serena. Finally, we get to see something that manoeuvres Radu Kanu around yeah. the court. We Good haven't tennis. got to see that yet. I've, I don't feel she's that got I all the fans really... though. She's got all of the fans. Yeah. The crowd are applauding only Serena Williams' points at the moment. Radu Kanu not getting much love from the crowd, but it's what you'd expect. Come on, we're in Cincinnati. This is. I sent you a tweet earlier. This could be her what second from last match. Yeah. Potentially, if she doesn't progress, that's what I mean. That's why I was trying to like big this this whole match up. To you. Yeah. I was just saying, this is just we may never see her again after. Well, in we two, will. In two, yeah, but not on a tennis court playing competitive. Never. It's not the last one. You can big it up as much as you want, and it is one of the last moments we'll see Serena. But it's not the last one. Yeah, I know. But if any of the last few are still such a rarity, <laughs> it's just. Yeah, but it's not the last one. The it's last like, one's going to be the biggest ever. So if if, if Rafa on the Do you said... know what, mate? It's not going to, the the last one. So the US, I think we'll see more than one. I'm I'm telling you now, her first round what? US Open, she's winning it. Okay, that's good. But if you, yeah, but that has put, the ability to be her last match, and I'm telling you, she's going to win. Into it. perspective, Rafa, though, Serena Williams will win that potential last match. If Rafa was to say, "I've got two tournaments left." You wouldn't be like every last game is like we must watch because oh, it's sure. all, I mean, that's why I'm here now watching this one. It's the same thing. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not big. I'm just saying it's not as big as the last one. Obviously, it's never. You never know when the last one is. No. And this could go. be Weak the last forehand one. into the net. No, it's not. She's playing the US Open. You never know. 
No, definitely playing the US Open. Ignore Ben. Fake fake news. No, but you never know what happens in a tennis match. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you can't. If you have that attitude with your life, you could say this is Raducanu's last match. You never know. Could be. Yeah, but that's just stupid, isn't it? I mean, no one does that because this could be your last ever stream. Might be. Yeah, but you, that's what I'm saying. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I hate Not all really. this. Not really. No, Might have it's a heart attack. Thinking. Yeah, but come on. Can't think no. like that in life. I know. You're just thinking not, if you're going to be doing I'm loads. I'm not and... going to, but all those things. You should really glass, live glass life like that. Fall, not glass you should empty. really live life like that. This could be the last ever to give everything in life. And there we go. Serena Williams on the board. Come on. Button. You're going to press the button? Go on. Do we get you can one? Press them. Do we get one? <laughs> you can always rely on Ben to lift your mood. You never know. This could be your last day on this earth. So oh. if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe. Exactly. If you it may be the last time you get to hit the button because we've got negative Ben in the house well, tonight. No, let me put a positive twist on that because if everybody lived their life like it, the last, like it was their last day, everybody would probably have a great day. But they don't. They're like, oh, everything's mundane and everything... Why be like that? It could be so, your last day. Are you taking a leaf out of your own book? Was you Andrew very Tate. joyous today? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I sit in I sit in the car. I sit in the car and I just look at the sunshine and I just think, <laughs> this is beautiful. Mate, the more I've listened to him, the more he just talks complete nonsense. Yeah, there's a it's getting worse and worse. Ninety percent nonsense, about ten percent sense i think now yeah it's getting a lot a lot worse but let us know in the live chat guys how do you see this one going radu Kanu with the early break against the goat of tennis serena williams williams fighting back in that last one her yeah. sister went out earlier to pliskova very comfortably uh, serena though i don't know i think she's gonna be um putting up a stiffer test here today against radu Kanu in the draw preview i went with serena williams since I've been looking around and getting excited for this one and looking at tweets and hearing what people have to say, I must admit <laughs> I great. have been skewed and I've gone with Radu Kanu to win this match in straight sets. So far, so good. Up to one. And we've got Ellie and Vegas in the live chat saying hello from hey. Vegas, GTL fam. We've got MQR going with a Serena in two. We've got Zoe with a come on, Emma, come on. And 12 think, travel to another thing. I think Serena would enjoy the relatively quick courts. Definitely. I don't think we can read too much into those first couple of games because it was just littered with errors. It was I mean, pretty she, poor, yeah. If she plays actual Serena tennis, then we're going to have a great match. That's that's the long and short of it. We know I hope that. we do. She's hitting it a lot better now. Has to be said. But like They're going in the court. She's found the range. Ooh. I think that's the key. Radu Kanu backhand onto the line. Yeah. Really deep shot. Brilliant backhand from Serena. Oh! She's pushing Radu Kanu around. Goes for a drop shot. It's too good. Serena Williams. Drop shot. What a drop shot. 15 all. Uh, you might want to re re refresh. Yeah, mate. You well, should have was... told me. I did. Yeah, but you didn't reply. Where? What do you mean? I didn't know what you were talking about. You're confusing me. I wrote it afterwards. Okay, I didn't I didn't see it. What Hopefully we're up to date now. Hopefully. I'm assuming we're watching the same place. Yeah. Uh oh, ace from Aducanu there. Really good stuff. And you were hmm. saying about this uh what is it? It's not a plaster. It's like this thing. It's for our sinuses. Yeah, it's, I mean um, it's, it's getting bigger. Like it's a strap. I struggle to breathe. I might get one of them. I don't think that's going to happen. Playing tennis, I'm going to when I next play you, Ooh. I might get one of those. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't surprise me if you see sort of young girls mimicking Serena and having the same thing. What she's wearing. I mean, she's that much of an icon. If anyone was to wear <laughs> something, I feel like people would copy it. About Radu Kanu, she started wearing one. Yeah, same with Radu Kanu. They've got that pull. These two are 
They just have tennis pool. Another ice. I mean, I feel... this, this serving from Radu Khan. Really I wasn't good. expecting this today. We had two aces, both out wide, and then one of them unreturnable. And Radu Kanu here, three one, opens back up the gap. It is, of course, only the one break, but Radu Kanu serving extremely well. Serena looks to have settled into the match a little bit after the well, the break to love, where it was so many unforced errors from her. And now coming into the fifth game with Serena to serve. It is going to be a fascinating watch. And that one is long from Radu Khan. A really good serve from Serena. 15 love. I was impressed with the way that Radu Khan was serving. And I, even if it was someone more mobile, I feel that the angle on the serves was so tight that they were curling away. Really great serves from Radu Khan today. Serena, more known for her big power serving. The good return there from Radu Kanu, and it's into the net from Serena. Yeah, a weak one. Zero applause for Radu Kanu. Yeah, I know. Uh, points one. Like, <laughs> I know. and she she can't be used to that because wherever Radu Kanu goes, she gets so much support. Here in Cincinnati, it must be a bit strange for her to not be supported. I mean, I can't think of a matchup where Radu Kanu is playing someone and the crowd aren't supporting her, apart from today. True. I guess Ew. the only other one is when she's playing, say, I don't know, like a Caroline Garcia in France. Yeah. Or an oh, Eager in Poland. Serena screams loud there. And the crowd cheer for the scream. Bill's saying, JG has it down. He makes a prediction. Draw preview. Then watch the start of the match and then change your prediction. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me clarify. It. It. That I was not it. from the start of the match. I, I actually changed it um, during, well, to be fair, I was changing it during today when me and Ben were talking. But then I officially changed it at the start of this. I was watching a bit of Nicoletta and John. I was trying to ignore as much as what Ben said because most of it's nonsense. And based on what even... them two tennis experts had to say, I felt more um, more oh, on the side of Radu winner. Kanu today. Great shot down the line there from Radu Kanu and Serena yeah. on the stretch. Can't get there. I feel that Sets up you... two break point opportunities for Radu Khan to go for the double break. Only 16 minutes played. And I didn't see that one. Was it just a winner from Radu? Um, yeah, I mean, she got a racket to it. But I feel that the, the movement is still so compromised of Serena Williams. She ace. That's what she needs more of. Yep. She has to short on rallies. She doesn't want to be dragged That's left it. to right. Good ace. Really Fighting good back. ace. Radu's it a few. Yeah. I question mean, is, would them Radu Kanu serves be an ace against someone a little bit more mobile than a Serena? I thought they were really good, to be honest. I think the they angle. were good serves. So yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think I'm just posing the question. Serena was miles away from them, but I think some other people might have still been, they might have been closer, but I still think they could have been aces. You should think Ooh. how many aces she served at the US Open. She was really good at serving. It's into the net. Second serve, break point number two. It's in. Good return. It's forehand. That's long from Serena. And there you go. It is Sloppy. four games to one. The double break. Big thank you to everyone who has liked the video. We have hit 100 likes. Thanks to you guys. We will be covering all of this match and hopefully many more for the Cincinnati Masters across the men and the women. So if you are just joining us, hit the subscribe button and join us for the GTL journey from plenty of other great matches. <laughs>
I understand partisan crowds, uh, but I detest crowds who are totally silent for one player. doesn't matter who. Tennis is more of a class sport than that. Just my feeling. Do you agree? He's not been to the US Open then, has he? Um, yeah, I well, mean, I think have. he just doesn't I... like it. He's I not saying it doesn't he's... happen. He's saying he doesn't like it. I think that you don't get silence on the US Open, though. You'd probably get more booze. That's true, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. This, I feel that you should always applaud the like all tennis. Like, it doesn't matter if they're the person... No, but in the situation, I'm sure Gary is standing in reference to today's match. So do you feel that it is very... Do you not like the fact that Sarit, that Emma Raducanu is not getting any cheers whatsoever? Yeah, I don't like it. I think that she should get some. But you got to remember... This isn't really like a normal match. This is like somebody who yeah. was or is one of the greatest who isn't. It's like watching. I don't want to keep saying Del Potro, but we keep bringing him up. Yeah. It was sort of like that when you were watching him and you're just thinking like he has Even to receive. Even a bit receive. like Songa, really, at Roland Garros yeah. this year. He has to receive or she has that to receive. That was emotional, Songa. All of the applause because... I'm not being funny, but Raducanu's got the rest of her career to get loads of applause, and yep. Serena deserves everything for her last few matches. Yeah, I'm not really with Gary on it. I can understand what he means, and in t- tennis, it is a very classy sport. In not this um, type of match, but I don't, I don't feel like this is them not showing respect no. to Raducanu. I just think it's them showing an overwhelming support to Serena Williams because of the occasion, because of the magnitude match, of what no. is happening. If this was let's a be close honest, match. Let's be honest quickly, Ben. Yeah. Serena Williams retiring is a massive occasion in tennis, if yeah. not one of the biggest in my lifetime. And not just that, because of the... the ha- oh, it was a great shot from Serena, but it got back into court there from Raducanu. The crowd cheering literally every shot at the moment. I think there's the facts that the, the rankings and how long she's been out and all that, the people sort of know... Raducanu should should win this match really quite comfortably if she plays her best tennis. And that's why she doesn't really deserve the cheers because Serena, if she manages to win any points or win any games, she's had to really work for it. And Raducanu is not expecting the support either. She's not going to be like complaining. She's not going to say that, oh, please, please. Oh, it was really horrible. No, she knows what the score is. This is... this is the greatest player of all time on the women's tour who's finishing her career. She's just Ooh. proud to be on court. Serena's just oh, going mad. She's overdone it. <laughs> she was hitting some really good backhand yeah. into the corner, then overplayed one. And sadly, what's the score? I just lost 40, it off 15. my team. It's 40-15. Yeah. I mean, she's not, she's she's not really making any indents on the Radu serve. She has to do that. She has to go for it. She doesn't want a long rally. She doesn't want to be drawn into a side-to-side battle. Yeah, I'd so like she's to going see her find the lines a little bit more, though, Ben. Yeah, she needs Some to go of these have been sloppy. Yeah, I mean, she needs to go more inside the line. A lot more. And there's the drop. Oh, I'm Radu Kani trying to drop shot oh, now. That one gets me. a cheer. Yeah, well, that's the best. That's the right shot to go for. Yeah. Somebody who can't run into the net that quick. True, Raducanu using some intelligent tennis for a change. She's not someone we say that often about. We often talk about her tactics on the court and the criticise them. <laughs> Look at this, though. Unforced there is Serena Williams, 10, Raducanu, 1. Yeah. Serena not playing well enough to be able to be competitive in this match so far. Raducanu hitting some good ground strokes, but nothing that challenging for, for Serena to deal with. And she's um, just not playing at the level at the moment. That's a great Here we forehand. Go. Steps in, forehand winner inside out. And that is a lot better. 40 30. Sorry, juice. She got it to juice. I didn't yeah, you've got to put this into perspective as well that Serena did beat Palazas Diaz in straight sets. So she's not like completely like out of like tennis and out Mate, of practice. I don't think no one's suggesting that. But. And it does. They both went for it to win in the draw preview. Yeah, I just think that, that I've just got that. I feel it's that I've only changed my mind the last three out few hours, to be honest. I just feel like if she puts it all together, ah, winner, Serena, what a shot! And she's got a break point. That's what I mean. If she puts it together, she has the shots. Yeah, mate, that is 
that's prime Serena. She's always done that. We didn't Off see the that return. against Tan, did we? Mate, this is what Eager's developed, uh, sort of developed from Serena, I feel. I think she's watched a lot yeah. of her and she does this same shot off the return. It's so effective if you catch it right. And now we have a break point to get one of the breaks back. We're into the rally. Forehand to forehand they go. Serena's backhand to the backhand Ooh. of Radu Khan. She flicks one around the corner. Oh, it's a good one, again. Serena! It's too good. It's it's just like it. that. Serena gets one break back. Radu Khan, who can't handle the power. And wow. this match just got interesting. Right, yeah, goat mode. mode engaged. <laughs> goat <laughs> mode. I don't think it's quite that uh, level yet, but still, I like the vibes that are coming from this match. That was very, very good from Serena. Great hitting. Yeah, I mean, so much better. And the power's evident. I mean, yeah, I think that's the thing. Serena has a lot more power than Raducanu. She just gets it into the corners. There's just not. She's not going to stop them. Just more powerful. Oh. Just the mo the movements, the key thing that Raducanu has in abundance yeah. above yeah. Serena. Just wants, just needs to rally, in my yeah. opinion. The longer the rallies go, the more it's going to favour Raducanu. Most definitely. If you are just joining us anyway, please remember to whack a like on the video and subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Ace from Serena into the corner. That's much better. Really, really good. Oh, that was a great serve. And I'm just ending the poll as well because the results oh. are very even. 51% Radu Kanu, wow. 49% Serena Williams. So That's the GTL really fans enough. didn't know which way to go. They slightly edged uh, Radu Kanu to win, but not nothing in it at all. Wow, a one-two punch from Serena. And it is 30 all. Brilliant it serve and uh, second ball there from Serena. I mean, when you watch this, you just think, don't retire, just keep playing. I know. But you just, you you can see why she's retiring. The movement's really not there at all. The ground strokes at times, you just can't unlearn it. It's natural ability. It's not like she's trained. Nice! <laughs> hey, it's not like she's trained loads to be, listen, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying, I'm not taking anything away from her training. Of course, she's trained hard to be one of the best players ever. Um, but for me, I watch her and I just see so much natural excellence. You don't see that in other players. She was gifted to play tennis. She's just one Ace! of a kind. <laughs> Two aces. On? And right on cue, cue <laughs> the natural excellence of Serena Williams consolidates the break and trails 4-3. Only one break in it now. I mean, naturally, have, have we seen any tennis players at the moment, any young players who have any anything like a Serena Williams? Not really, I wouldn't say. Not that say Eager's of... closest, but... She is closest, but I want to see her do it on the hard court. If she can dominate a hard court slam, then I think we're on... Eager? Oh, well, yeah. I think we've seen it. We've seen no, her on the, yeah. in the Masters. Yeah, but in the slam, I mean, I know that she's dominant in the Masters. I want to see her dominate a hard court slam the same way she does on clay. She does that. She's nearly unstoppable. Oh my word, look at this atmosphere. I know, they're loving it. There's a it. party atmosphere in Cincinnati. Everyone cheering on Serena Williams right now. Emma doing quite well to stay focused. Hopefully her head doesn't drop too much right now. Because if she gets broken again, she's losing this first set. I think she's not going to come back from a double break up and then losing it. It's really going to play some mind games with the crowd against <laughs> the Serena Williams. They're roaring one of her last matches. I think that is when you start thinking, is the occasion getting too much around Ucano? I think Bill's still going after you saying fans only changed their pick in the last few minutes. No, it's not me. He's talking about... <laughs> Do you know the uh, the poll? Oh, the poll. Every, everyone well, changed. It, it was it was, it was 
It was heavy Serena. I thought it was heavy Radu. Earlier on today, it was always 60 or more for Radu. I thought earlier it was with Serena. I'm they've, not sure, all, though. they've all come back on side. Yeah, I think it's moving around a little bit. But I ended it because it was very even. And we wasn't really gauging too much from it in the end. No, not really. We've got Simona Halep on court at the moment as well. She's a set up and a break against Potapova. We had also just go through Annette Contevi against Martin Sova in three sets. That was a really hard fought win there for Contevi. She's done well. And Alcaraz has just taken the first set as well. I mean, the, the maddest result, I don't know if you spoke about it, Ben Shelton beating Lorenzo Sonego in three sets. I know, mate. We gave a big up for the Ben. joking about that <laughs> on the draw preview. It actually I, happened. I was celebrating it. It's incredible. It really was. Capricorn there, three aces in a game. We're seeing aces from both players, both serving quite well on these quick courts of Cincinnati. Oh, Raducanu trying to get these rallies a bit longer. She's moving Serena around. She goes into the corner. Can Serena pass? But she can't. It's into the net. Good tennis. Really good. Good tennis, Emma. She approached the net at a good time, put Serena on the back foot, takes the point, and it's 30 love. Interesting. I think yeah, I just I thought... heard my first go, Emma. Wow. I was saying to you in the draw preview, I thought Serana Sestay would win if he didn't pick her, and she did. <laughs> More than capable. She's a good player. Yeah, a few shocks out there today. I mean, Osaka, we need to talk about that as well. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. I'm close to raging about it. But I'm going to try not to. It's not good, is it? I mean, it's... it's... I can't, gonna... When was the last time Osaka won a match? I mean, does she does she want to play tennis anymore? Whoa. If not, just what's the point of keep entering? It's her and her and she's Kenan. so good. Osaka. Go and, uh... she, she really is. She, honestly, Ben, she is a seriously good tennis player. She's the well, one who could compete with all of them when she's she on the, the day, final in Miami, especially on these courts. But if she's not got her mind in it and she's not playing, um, she can't fulfill her potential. Then. He wants to watch someone sort of moping around the court and losing every week. Well, exactly. And that's the problem. And we're seeing it sort of with... And that's a game to love, just in case. You want to press it? But with Sophia Kennan as well, I mean, it's just awful. Yeah. Like, I yeah. thought she would Fear lose. Kenin's the worst one of the lot, but what well, I, I thought she would lose to Rogers, but it's two and one. I mean it's just Yeah. Sophia Kenin, Mugurusa. A lot of these, I don't know. It's just I feel um... Mugurusa can can turn it all around though. Like just but I don't I know if it's the same for the other. Of course. Like, she's not hit the depth, she's not hit the Kenin's the, the lows of level. Sophia Kenin. That's just something else. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a matter of you had a world double one two years ago. Well, she was, now she, she can't was, win a match. She nearly was two slams in. She was one slam and then a final, then a final of another yeah. slam and then suddenly off the deep end. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen to Raju Kanu. She is currently 5-3 up against Serena Williams. Serena Williams serving. One break in it. 32 minutes on the clock. And it's 15 all here. So Raducanu, oh, nice. three points away. Another race for Serena Williams. The one stacking problem. up at the moment. That is number five for Serena, two for Raducanu. We've had seven aces in this first set already. It's not over yet. Yeah, the one thing with Kenin is she doesn't have the the cushion of the endorsements that Raducanu does. That's the thing. You Ooh. can win one slam, but you've not got anybody uh, back in your yeah, corner. It's really strange. I'm not, not sure what exactly is going on there. All right, well, Serena, Almost another ace from Serena, but misses the first serve. Second serve to the backhand of Radu Khan, who goes to the backhand of Serena. We're into the rally. Yeah, Ooh, good. that is a great angle. I thought it was going to pull wide. I think Serena hesitated for a second before she hit the ball, thinking it was maybe going wide as well. It didn't. It crept on the line, and it's 30 all meaning Radu Kanu two points away mm. from this opening set and another break of the Serena serve. Don't, don't give it away now. Historically, breaking a Serena serve is one of the toughest things to do. Yeah. Uh, Radu Kanu has been doing it at ease today. 
Come on, Serena. Don't do this now. You've got to at least make her serve it out. Second serve. It is in. Backhand's in from Raducanu. Good backhand, Serena. Power is wide, though. And it is yeah. set point. It's over. Just off balance. Over. Off balance as you hit the forehand. Dragged it wide. And it is set point, Raducanu. It's going to be a relatively quick first set, maybe. Could be. Unless Serena can just pull out one of those big serves. Yeah, the MQR saying Kenin is 402 in the world now. And Asaka needs a peak tennis. It's all her mental game. She certainly more, does. Man. Nice forehand, second ball, oh, and the good set one. point saved. Well, Come on. Serena. Is Venus there? I've not seen her. I didn't see her. She, well, she's obviously playing in the tournament. She got knocked out, but I didn't yeah, that's see what I'm saying. I'm surprised she's not in the crowd. Let me know if anyone's seen Venus in the crowd. They all seem to be hiding under some sort of cap or something, though, so it's difficult to see. Like Dimitrov. Serena serving at juice. Hits the net cord. Gets Man, a it's left. It's easier now. I remember during COVID, before the masks, how oh. difficult it was to tell who was who. It's a nightmare. They probably like it. Masks are sort of slowly becoming more of a thing of the past. Oh, they were terrible, especially in the summer. A touch wood. I mean, I don't want to. They could be coming back, probably. Oh, great serve out wide, and it is unreturnable. It is advantage, Serena. Can she force Doing all Raducanu? she can. Doing all she can to make Raducanu serve for the first set against the crowd, against a large portion of the world. Against Is that you? Serena's daughter in the crowd? No, no, not against you. You're cheering, Serena. Yeah, yeah. Backhand into the corner. It's a great crafty one. She comes to the net. Good volley. It's too good. It's four th four four five. Sorry, not four three. <laughs> four, 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 four. Just to four clarify games. it's <laughs> it's four it's five four Raducanu. Serena did hold serve. And we're going to give her the button just for that because she did save a set point and she's going to make Raducanu serve for the first set. Nicola, got Nicola in and Emma needs to relax if she wants to win. She's afraid, definitely. This is not even close. We all know what Serena is capable to do. Ooh. Yeah, agreed. And Emma, Emma seemed very confident at the start, but she's starting to tense up the closer she's getting to the business end. And now end. serving for this first set, this is a big, big challenge. This is going to be, um, I'm not sure it's going to be as straightforward as some would think. Squeaky bum time. Some and might say. Listen, I'm going to make a big call. The first point is very, very important. If he goes love 15, I think some doubts oh. are going to start creeping in. The doubts. You can see there. It's one of them time. games where the first point, I feel, is going to be incredibly important for the momentum. You can see she's trying to compose herself right now in the changeover. Wanders back onto court. Weirdly enough, we're both supporting the people that we spoke to at Wimbledon, <laughs> which is weird. You're supporting Radu Khan. Weirdly enough, you're not supporting Radu Khan again. I don't know what's happened to you. The, is it because you didn't of, get a question? Yeah. In? You don't support her anymore. It's the end of well, Serena and me hit it off sort of at Wimbledon. So ever since then, uh, I've just been wanting her to see out that career, just get a few wins under the belt. Ooh. Go out with a bang. Emma's looking at the crowd. They were talking as she was starting her service Ooh. motion. Nice. <laughs> Ripple of applause. Go on, Emma. They don't like that one. 15 love. Nah, she's done it to shut them up. She's like, do you want a few more of them? Oh, they've got them all day, that one out wide. Surprised how good her serve's been, actually. That one, that same serve's done so many aces. Yeah. Oh, good serve. Good second ball. Come on. Yeah. After that. Almost another race. Serena did very well to get across to it and return it, but it was always going to be put away. Right, Just sir. about sneaked over the net. And Emma goes oh, down man. the line straight. Hard winner. 
And it's 30 love. Two points away from this first set. She has had set point on the Serena serve. Didn't take it. Is she going to get another one here? We're into the rally. Forehand to forehand. Serena a bit off balance, but she's regained yeah. herself. <laughs> oh, she was gonna... oh, no, it was too much. <laughs> that was too much. She was put off balance a second ago. That one out of her reach. And we have three set points. Points, Emma Raducanu. And I said the first point was going to be important. Emma won it, and she's then won two more. Just going to finish it with an ace, Second maybe. Set point. A la US Open final. I think unreturnable. Down the tee. Yeah, there it is. Ace. <laughs> oh, I said, what did I say? It. You called it, and it we works. have the first oh, set man. finished. Emma Raducanu wins six four. Game to love, serving it out. What do we know? No nerves at all, and Emma no. is flying. <laughs> Yes, as Bill says, it is almost 1 a.m. here in the UK, but we are not going to bed. Most people who love tennis will be staying up to watch this one. Most tennis fans across the world will be tuning in because it is Serena Williams versus Emma Raducanu, two Grand Slam champions. Serena won quite a few more than Raducanu, and uh, Emma's not been in the greatest of form either. However... She's doing exactly what she needs to do here. Serving extremely well. We've got four races from her. You could probably throw in another four unreturnables, if not more as well. And Serena's not done too bad behind her serve. When she's found her first serve, you can see, um, well, she's got five aces, which isn't too bad. A few double faults, so which isn't the best. And uh, second serve points one, not very good at all. Serena only winning one point behind her second serve so far. And it is fair to say that Raducanu Khan, who has been the better player and does and did deserve that first set, it could have been more than a break, but Serena showed some fight to get one of the breaks back. And I don't know, this second set, I'm I'm still going for the same. I think it's going to be more Emma dominance. I think Serena's going to show maybe some, some flashes of brilliance, some big ground strokes, maybe some big serving. The crowd will get behind everything positive she can do. But I feel the youth's going to come through and and I think Emma's going to wrap this one up with maybe just the one break. Um, there may be a few more breaks, but I feel Serena will get a break back at least. And uh, maybe a similar scoreline of 6-4. But let me know what you guys think. That's my prediction. 6-4 Raducanu in the second. Let me know yours now. And just like that, Ben's back. I kind of know what yours is going to be. Serena and three. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with it. Go. She's got to give it her all. What do you, th what do you think but... with this set, though? Do you think it would be really close? Do you think seen? Do you think? Do you think Serena has the ability to sort of, you know, like a a breadstick? <laughs> <really can't laughs> no, I don't think. So. It doesn't feel, feel like, like it, does it? She's I feel not, like it's not capable of holding four. enough. Yeah, like it's going to have to be like a six-four or something. Or she needs five. to hold serve. She needs to hold serve. Like for the whole of the set, though, she can't get broken. Otherwise, I feel she loses in straights. Well, she is serving first here to start the second set, and she's lost the first point. And that first serve is terrible. About a mm -hmm. meter long, she's only won one point behind her second serve this entire match. That's second a great serve. serve. Did she win another one. Come on! Wow, is that an ace? Yeah, second serve ace. That's what I mean. She's pulling out all the big boys now. Come on. <coughs> She's got a few of them left in the chamber. Pretty mad. Got Nicola saying, this is WTA history. history. Goat versus ambassador of the new generation. Respect for both girls. Oh, she's overcooked that backhand. 
That was a disappointing Silence. one there from Serena. The crowd was just devastated. No, they thought they were still going. They cheered her volley. <laughs> right. The crowd are devastated. I know. That Grigor there again. Great no, serve. Olympia. Blocks back in. Nice forehand down the line. Blocks back in again. But it's long. So yeah, not blocked nice back one. in. Blocked back long. What's going on? Alcaraz threatening the break in the other match playing right now. Simona Halep still up a I break. Alcaraz might win Cincinnati. I don't know if I picked it or not. I think you did. Didn't you? Or was that the last tournament? I don't know, but I hope I did because I think he's going to win this one. No, you have Medvedev, I think. I think we both did. Uh, Into the net from Serena on the second ball. It is break it's a very point. risky shot, that one. I don't know yeah. if she needed to go all the way down the line, the higher part of the net. She was back. I don't know. She the was right there, the but it, just, it was all. a bit too risky. Came off the wrong part of the racket, <laughs> not the sweet spot. Yeah, tried to, tried to kill it off too quickly. She misses that first serve as well. It's going to be break point, second serve. Could be curtains if she doesn't Can't get do broken this. now. Oh, he's hit the baseline with that backhand. She's going cross court. Great angles. Lucky. She's opened the court up. She's missed it. Oh, she had the whole line to go down. She She's gone long. It. The crowd aren't impressed. But Emma Raducanu gets the break and she's up a set and now a break to start the second. Vamos, Emma. <laughs> a break for Emma Raducanu early in the second. Can Serena turn it around? You've got a feeling that she's going to need to do it pretty soon. Raducanu is just going to keep trying to maneuver around the court. I often wonder with those really open courts, do you really need to go that powerful into them? Can you not just play it a little bit more conservatively? She chose to go full on power. And there's a great winner from Raducanu. Inside out forehand. And it is a very, very nice, clean winner from the Brit. Yeah, she really just had, she was sort of just maneuvering her around the court there. And then a little short forehand inside out into that service box. 15 love. We got Bill R in saying, what about Chapo winning a match? He's back, boys. JG called it. I said he was going to keep losing. And there we go. Serena does get herself on the board in this game. 15 all. And we got Naomi Osaka, who's noticed that she's been caught on camera and she sinks into the seat and covers her face. Oh, dear. She was cheering Serena Williams then. Busted. I think is the word there. How fun is that? Didn't like being on this camera whatsoever there. I was Naomi Osaka. Why did she put her hands up like that? She just covered herself. She just slid down in her seat like, no, she went to celebrate and then re didn't realise like, she'd been spotted. She thought she was being like... She picked like one of the, the highest seats as well, like completely in the... <laughs> She was blending she sat on top in. of the roof. I know. Didn't work though, did it? Camera she couldn't have sat further away until the cameraman found Naomi Osaka. I feel a bit sorry for her when it's like that. Sat in the changing room, they're still zooming in. Just leave her alone. I mean, if she's moved all the way up there, just kind of let her have her own peace, no? Like the thing she just squirmed down into her seat. That's just evident she doesn't want to be in that position. 40 15, anyway. <clears throat> I mean, this is seriously impressive from Randu Kanu. Great return there from Serena. Lands on the baseline. Now they're into the rally. Randu Kanu maneuvering her around, but 
Oh, and that is long from Serena. I feel that. I mean, one thing you can't say negatively about Radu Kanu is big matches. Like, in the big matches, she's always delivered. I know she's had some disappointing Grand Slam results recently, but she plays a lot better in a Grand Slam than what she does in any other WTA event. Yeah. She's won the US Open. She won a US Open final, the only one she's been in. That is some pressure. Serena Williams, that is a really big pressure occasion. She's winning that as well. It seems like, like she's when she's when she's put under world. the most pressure, she's she she can actually deliver. You give her, say, no offense, but I don't want to say a player now who's <laughs> um I was gonna say like <laughs> a Trevor Sun in a WTA WTA two fifty, she's gonna probably lose. That's how I feel. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that she's using her strengths against Serena today. She's a big she's... match player, Serena um, Emma Raducanu. She turns up for the big matches. I feel that Serena is sort of there for the taking if you play the right match, though. That's the problem. If you if you really play it into the corners consistently and well, then I don't feel Serena has a chance against anyone on the tour. That's the sad reality. Yeah, but despite that. Radu Kanu, just the stats come up. She's only made one unforced error this match. Yeah, she still have to do it. She's playing. She is no, playing no, she's well. She's playing extremely well. She's not doing any. She's not putting a foot wrong, basically. I think it's probably her tactic. She's not going for loads of shots. I think she's, she's just knowing not to, missing. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's staying that's exactly what we need to do. Look at this. Love 30. But maybe this match is what she needs. Maybe this match will be the catalyst before the US Open. Imagine she defeats Serena Williams and then goes on a storming run and then oh, can go. you imagine she gets... Mate, I think she's winning I agree I think she's going to win the US Open <laughs> I would absolutely you don't even I understand. hope you pick it you don't even understand how much I would love if Raducanu wins the US you don't even understand I, don't... I think you think you understand well, I think I how... do. that's a double but... fault by the way from Serena Williams I don't, think you... I don't think you understand how gargantuan like that is in life, like how much I would love just to laugh in the faces of everyone who was going, Well, she's definitely not gonna win it. Well, she's obviously not winning it. She'd barely get past the foot. If she won it again, I would literally just be crying with laughter. I think she might joy. make like the quarters or something. Even or if semis. she got to the quarters, it'd be amazing. Second week's like amazing, I think. I think she might go quite deep. I have a Mate, feeling. It'd be amazing. It would be amazing. I would be. Let's see how she does in Cincinnati first. Oh, what a smash, smash, Serena! That is not easy. I can assure you of that. Back pedaling wasn't the worst of lobs from Raducanu. Serena, though, brilliant smash. We know she's very good at smashes, and that was one from the ages. Well, real test is Azarenka, who's the next opponent. If you get past Serena Williams, if you if you beat Azarenka, then you're legit. Not now, mm. though. As It's not the same as Arenka. And look at that. Big winner. Emma Raducanu down the line. Not the same as Arenka. She gets another break. Not yeah, for me, for, for me, it's not the same as Arenka. She defeated Kanepi in her last yeah, match. Yeah, I'm surprised. Look, I think someone else said it as well. Um, where is it? Capricorn. Azarenka played surprisingly well against Kanepi. Oh, I mean, just because she loves it in Cincinnati, that's why. Yeah, relevant to that, Ben. She's not been in good form, has she? I mean, Azarenka. Some players just I don't like. Think, I don't think events. anyone. Nobody's considering Azarenka to win the U.S. Open. I'll be no, shocked but... if she makes the second week. Nobody considered her when she got to the final that year, where before Cincinnati, for her to get to the final. But she got no, to did, the final. To, in no, because she was playing well in the build-up, Ben. She did what she before Cincinnati. To, at Roland Garros, what did she do at Roland Garros? I don't know. You don't remember. I remember, she was brilliant on the clay as well. She's having a no. She was having a really good year. I have to find out. Have a look. I think it was. I'm going to sound crazy, like semis or something. 
What, in Roland Garros? I think she did very well there. I mean, that's just from memory. I can't remember that. Field memory is better than mine. But one thing what you might be able to point out, I think it might, I think the Roland, only takes Roland Garros one was after the US Open, wasn't it? It was that weird yeah. year. Oh, was it that year? Yeah, I think so. But what, that doesn't even make any sense then. Yeah, it does. That's what I'm thinking now. But I know what? she did well at Roland Garros. No, but I think she had a really good year, Azarenka, that year. Mate, this this will just shock you then. Coming in to Cincinnati, she didn't she didn't really play any tennis. She lost she had lost her last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches in a row. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's been playing terrible. That doesn't yeah. shock me. I she, knew she, I knew she'd lost loads of matches. No, that was before she won Cincinnati in twenty twenty. Oh, okay. Before she won that. What about this yeah. this run? She on bad form as well? Yeah, no, no. She's not good this year. That's what I mean. The same thing. I'm trying to find okay. similarities of why she, so she's good she in Before she won Cincinnati. Cincinnati, she was in terrible form and then won it. And then yeah. got to the final of the US Open against Osaka. Exactly. So she went on this ridiculous run of like 11 matches or so, 12 matches unbeaten. Could just be Cincinnati just likes it there. Some players are just weird at events. It's like a horse at a race course. Just like it. Yeah. I mean not comparing her to a horse, but <laughs> <laughs> sort of am. <laughs> Let's see. I fancy Radu to beat her. If she can get through Serena. This one's not over yet. It is a double break. I would love it if but... Radu just comes good now. Just the US swing turns around. And she's just like, Yeah, by the way, I just love this time of year. No, oh, that one's just out. Unlucky. But it's always Serena just sort of defending these ones. Yeah. Here. Just doesn't it's... look comfortable on the tennis court anymore, does she? It's just the movement. It's always the movement. That's the sad thing. Like, as much as I wanted to do well, the movement's <laughs> so compromised. I mean, Gary, they're saying if we do get Raducanu Azarenka, we may be in for a treat. Yeah, I think so. So will I you put I... Azarenka's favourite then? I think she would be the favourite, yeah. For me, it's still Radu. It'd be close. I'd say go like one point. Was it one point eight to two or something? It's one point five three to two point five. For what? Radu. Rad really? What was the yeah. favourite? For sure. After beating Kanepi, Kanepi was just in the final of another event, wasn't she? That's just how it is, mate. Yeah, that's the British bookies. Let's go to some other ones. No, that's just how it would be. Oh, because she beat that's Serena. No, not just that. It's just, I think, mate, let's be honest. <laughs> let's just remember a second. Randy Carney won the US Open last year. Ah, uh, so you're thinking that it's going to happen again? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I think <laughs> I've already said she's going to have a. I think it's she's going to have a really good US Open. It's been sold. He's I think down. she's going to have a I better can't US wait for Open your than everyone. Preview. You've got a guy in so deep in that. Yeah, probably of deeper than you. Maybe. I might have Serena winning it. I think you did. Is you had Serena winning, didn't you? Two, two years ago. You had her I winning Wimbledon. Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Cheers, yeah. Rowdy. Should be sacked for that type of... Serena's opinion. just a shell of her former goat self. Yeah, she's not the same, obviously, but... Still, still flashes of brilliance. You're still enough to enjoy, that's for sure. And that's why I've been oh, excited yeah. about this match all day because you still get to see some some greatness and just nice seeing her again playing tennis. Oh, yeah, for sure. Love there it. There shouldn't be that many expectations on her shoulders. This is just like a farewell tour. Yeah, I mean... She's, she's done all of her career. Oh, and she's the, the greatest tennis player ever. So. Yeah. You can't you can't expect any tennis player, even in even in your peak, to, to have that amount of time off and come back and be competitive at that highest level. That's tough. Halep at the moment looks like she's going to lose the second set to Potapova. What's happened there? Nice. It was up a break. Nice well, forehand Potipova from Serena. Winning. Smash from Serena and the crowd go wild. Just get a game. We do not want a bagel. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't be that guy. Because that will feel that like girl. the Hercatch Federal one. Yeah, I don't want that. Wimbledon. Yeah, that was a bit harsh. It was a bit. Hercatch should have given him a game. 
I feel, I feel like Roger wouldn't have wanted a game, though. I feel like he doesn't want... No, of want... course not, mate. These are competitors. You've got to win charity. every point. doesn't want charity. Oh, good return, Raducanu. Yeah, Steps into power. the forehand. Really good tennis from her. Here she comes. She's playing great, then. She is playing great. <laughs> I'm not Serena's convinced. not moving well, but Raducanu is playing very well. Yeah, I'm not convinced by the level of opposition. So uh, ben, I can't. This, this is US Open champion Raducanu playing right now. I, I would love it if she gets deep in Cincinnati. I'm, I'm telling you, Ben, you can now. whisper it, but she's back. Whisper it. <laughs> she's back. Oh, Rowdy every lap saying, and we got Serena Volley in. It's into the corner. It's looped up. Serena puts it away. Oh, good tennis. <laughs> Come Thanks. on. She should have done better with the passing shot. She hit it straight to the body. Cheers, Rowdy. Saying, I would not take this match uh, from... Well, I would not take from this match that Emma looks like she's going to win the US Open. Yeah. I think Stop JD's being negative, just... Rowdy. She's going to do it. She's back. She's playing great tennis again. She's trying to reel you in. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. But I think she's going to have an encouraging US Open. That's all I'm going to say. She's playing very well right now. It's difficult to tell she... because Serena's not moving great at all. It's like what she... on the court. I just hope, yeah, I mean, it's worse. Double <laughs> I feel like my movement is well. better. <laughs> well, you think your movement's better than Serena? Doesn't to get so. to the net, probably. No, you're more static than her. Maybe I'm quite. I've, my reaction speed's pretty slow. I'm like oh, Radu Kanu right now. Look similar. <laughs> oh no, that was a terrible shot though. How many times have you seen her just off balance hit or yeah, hit I mean, ball long? There's a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. There's just not much balance. I just feel that. Oh wow! <laughs> a winner from Radu Kanu. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Radu Kanu back is a clean winner off the serve. And it you is see what, the look that she gave love. her. Serena gave her the, that look. What a mean look. No, she's just like disbelief, like, really? You're just going to do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I want to pose the question to you because Sean's jumping in. She's going to do it. <laughs> She's doing it, guys. She's doing it. I want to pose the to question to you, though, because if she was to win the US Open again, this is ridiculous to even say this type of thing. If she was to win it again, can everybody finally get off her back? Or does everybody go like, oh, she's never going to win a w another WTA? Is that all she can do? Oh, yeah, everyone gets US off Open? No, is no, that, everyone like, gets off her back. Well, that's it. That's done then. No criticism oh. ever. She wins another one. There's what? no criticism. What? So two is the the limit. No, I mean Sarkis... there will be criticism, of course. Well, that's natural in sport. But there's... Exactly. There's, much... there's, na there's natural, but people can't then people lose a lot of their theories of her being a one hit wonder type player because if you win it twice, you can't be a one hit well, wonder. Let's just they can say, question right. her integrity and her attitude if she okay. was really dedicated to the sport after winning Throw she falls off. So you can't you can't say. You can't call her ever a one-hit wonder. All right. Let's just say on her side of the draw, she's supposed to play a couple of players. They both withdraw due to like sickness or something. So she gets two walkovers on the way to the final. I don't care whatever you say. She's If she, <laughs> she, wins, if she wins the US Open, nobody can call her a one-hit wonder. That's and it. here we go. She's serving for a bagel in which would be one of Serena Williams' last ever matches. It happened to Roger Federer with her catch at Wimbledon. Is it going to happen at Cincinnati here on, with Radu Kanu? Emma, Serena. brilliant defence. And that is a great shot from Serena Williams. 
one of the very last winners we're going to see off a racket inside out right. forehand, 15 all. Morbid, this commentary. I don't know if I like it. Well, it's true. It is one, one of the, of the last, last ever forehand. forehand. One of the last winners. ever forehand. Winners. We'll see a few at the US Open, but I hope so. Here we go, just over an hour on the clock. Radu three points oh, away. Oh, it's a shank. I was oh, I thought it was gonna go in. No, we're gonna it's get the shank. shank. Have you got it? I'll go it. You got it, I'll go it. I mean, yeah, rowdy every lap. If she even won a masters, I'd give her a due. Me too. Well, maybe she just needs to win Cincinnati then. Then she could just take the US Open off. Joseph saying you should do a stream and talk about the uh, players who have won one slam. Yeah, we certainly will. Oh, well, yeah, there's loads. But quickly, Ben, just like that is match point match here. Point. Match point. And it's all happened a little bit too quick for my yeah. liking. Just over an hour, two match points here so. for Radu Khan to serve up a bagel against Serena Williams in which would be one of her last matches. She said she's going to the US Open. She committed to Cincinnati as well. Is she going out in the first round? It's been a very tough draw for Serena. You've got yeah. to feel sorry for her drawing Radu Khan in the first round. And it is Proud second shame. serve here. 25 minute second set at the moment. There it is. It's into the net from Serena. And that's it. 6-4, six, 6 love. Yeah, brilliant tennis, by the way. I'm just going to look at the the reaction at the net between the two of them. Aww. They shake hands. Serena smiles. Be more of a embrace. It wasn't a hug or anything, just a handshake. And fair play to Emma Raducanu. She didn't get overawed by the occasion. She served out very well in the first set. And then she bageled her in the second and coming up to the US Open. Is this the passing of the torch? If uh, Not really. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like that. It just, it, for me, it just feels like Randu Kanu now, finally coming back to a level where we know she can play good tennis. Because today, despite Serena's lack of movement and poor <laughs> tennis at times and the terrible unforced errors, I thought Randu Kanu was playing very solid. And on her serve, she was playing very attacking tennis and... I think she's going to be dangerous against Azarenka in the next round. I hope so. For the rest of Cincinnati, she could be, be going to be dangerous if she can get through Azarenka. And certainly for the US Open. Watch out for this girl. She is British. We are going to get behind her. And Emma Raducanu right now is coming back into form. <laughs> Oh, mate. Uh, my my stream automatically switched over to Ostapenko. Yeah, mine too. And admire, I just wanted to get your take on Ostapenko's outfits this week, mate. For me, it's dreadful. I'm sorry, but I'm I mean they're still... always they're always pretty rough. Ostapenko's outfits, but oh, this is the worst. Her, ten her tennis does do a lot of talking. No, but, no, but so come on, I need to hear your. She's not always you loved, love but. You love an outfit, and this one I've seen for me it. is one with the frills on the skirt. No, but just have a look when they go. It's like it's like a leopard print like bottom oh, yeah, and I've collar. Seen. Yeah, I've seen it. It's so weird, man. What the, what it is, is really going bad. on? Who's designed that? Did she do it? Did she made that? It looks like she's made it home on the on the sewing machine. And she's gone and caught. Don't know what's I mean, going it, on. It is pretty poor. But let's just wrap up this match because it was one for the ages. Yeah. Emma won in straight sets. I did tell you that before the match started, yeah. but I can't really pray. I can't claim it too much because I did do a U turn, um, but not really. Me. I mean, I did say it. I said it as soon as I come on the stream. It was the first thing yeah. I wanted to get out. Of them. I got on the stream. Radu Khan in straight sets, and that was because of Nicolette and John Silk. They swayed me in the preview show. It was a quick one, as Gary said. Was expecting it to be. No, I wasn't expecting. I was hoping for it to be longer. Nicolette um, swayed you with a Serena prediction. No, just listening to him, talk, just hearing all the state, all the tweets and stuff. It just made it sort of swayed me. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining us. 
It is sad that it's over. We've it's hopefully Mamadou. got another match with Serena Williams at the US Open. I think she's going to win that one. I have a feeling. How many? How many what? How many matches will we get? That's the question. We're going to get more than one. That's my big prediction right now. We're not going to get only one more. We're going to get more than one match with Serena. And thanks to Mamadou saying Emma will get beat by Caroline Garcia. Well, it's possible. Caroline Garcia, a very good player. Um, let's see if Emma can get past Azarenka first. That's another match. Must watch. We'll be covering it on the channel. Make sure you join us for it. I'm just hoping that we can get one that's not up midnight. But I'm yep. guessing Radu Kanu, they'll probably schedule her for midnight probably most days. Yep. Anyway, we'll get off to bed, won't we, mate? Yeah, exactly. Cool that. If you haven't already, hit the like <laughs> button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys.